everybody, uh, my name is Tony Harding and uh, I'm sitting here with Derek Sheen and he's an amazing, amazing comedian. Uh, he, he's got a, a really awesome CD out. Uh, can't remember the name of the CD, it's been a while. Holy Drivel? Holy Drivel. It's not great. It's not great. It's Go amazing. Go look it up, go buy it on iTunes, see hey, yourself. Hey, would you be able to just drive over here and pick me up? Yeah, it, you know, the cool thing about it is, you know, you, you, you talk about suffocating ch children with pillows, and, and that's great. That's uh, the lead-off track. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I, I'm, I'm kind of sitting here, and I'm, I'm wanting to ask you a, a couple questions. Um, I, I think the first one I'm going to ask is... Uh, what is your definition of success? Uh, oh, uh, I have a definition even though I haven't reached it yet, and that is paying my wife back for everything. <laughs> that would be that would be to pay her back for every airplane ticket, hotel, uh, every night she's uh, stayed home alone crying. Uh, I want to pay her back for that. That would be success. Because then we can clear the then we can clear the we can clear the street and then we can have a vacation. It's, it's, uh, so success would be that I was self-sufficient. Nice, nice. Uh, uh, are you uh, like, what? What's your thought of, of becoming a, an actual celebrity type of name? Oh, I won't have. I'll die alone. <laughs> I will die alone. You know that. I, let's let's be honest. I'm 44. I'll die alone. Well, but I... if I make at least, if I change one life with my stand-up, if I change one life then that's not even close to what I wanted to do. That's not enough. I didn't do it. <laughs> well, let's not forget that George Carlin died alone, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. wow, that really, yeah, you're right. <laughs> what am I doing this for? <laughs> Gun barrel and frosting yeah. in my mouth. Mm. Um, all right. I don't know. I mean, I honestly think, like, uh, uh, I mean, I have no, I have no, uh, I have no aspirations or ambitions for celebrity at all. I would just really like to do stand-up full-time. That's all I want to do is just keep getting better at this thing. I keep wanting to get better and and write stronger material and uh, really just get everyone to like what I'm doing. You know, I, I really like. I, that's why I travel all over the country because I don't want to just stay in one place and you know preach to the choir. I like to take my stuff all over the country and try it out. And it's also and you know, my stuff is also not. Uh, it's not just jokey jokes, you know. I have a lot of political stuff. I have a lot of religious stuff. Um, but I don't. I really want to just have everybody laugh at it. I think everything's funny. It's all up for grabs. So you know, if I could just get an audience, I could just do it once. Come on, coach, put me in. <laughs> I can play. That's all I want. All right, cool. Um, now, for all the aspiring comedians or anybody else in the entertainment field. Uh, what would be probably your uh, most important advice that you'd give? Uh, don't stop. Constantly seek to improve yourself. Always be writing. Always be performing. Um, never, ever, ever, ever rest on your laurels and think that you're ready or that you're done or that you're good enough. Always be trying to chase the next step. It's the only way you're going to get better. If you have five minutes, try to write seven. Always be working on seven minutes. If you have seven minutes, Always be trying to work on that next three minutes to make it ten minutes. Always be trying to write. You know, always record yourself so that you can hear how you change. Every day your voice changes the more you do this. Try to be the best, smartest, you know, most complete person you can. And don't worry about any of the other shit. Don't worry about celebrity or fame or fortune. Because none of those things matter and they probably won't happen. But if you're good at something, that's what matters, you know. I mean, every artist that you like isn't someone who is an artist that you like because they were rich and famous. You liked them because the uh, the genuine nature of their work is what intrigued you. So, you know, just be that person. What about... Is that too heavy? Should I have said, always go for sex. Just chase as much tail as possible. Do a lot of coke. Well, that's exactly the answer I was looking yeah. for. Do a lot of coke. Try to get... You know how much my arms flap. Did you notice this? <laughs> Also, don't work out at all. Just spend all day eating snacks and playing Xbox, and you'll have a body just like this. <laughs> I made a veal pate. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and uh, what would you say for the people who have problems with stage fright? Um, 
keep doing it. I mean, I had problems with crippling stage fright, and I gave myself projected goals every time. Try to stay on stage 30 seconds. Try to get a, stay on stage for a minute and get one lap. Try to get two laps and stay on stage two minutes. And, you know, do whatever you need to do to make you feel comfortable. Wear dark glasses. Don't look at the audience. Don't make eye contact. But be in the moment. Live in the moment and just try to do the thing you're doing. If you desire to be on stage, you will get over that. Don't medicate. Here's my big thing on that. Don't medicate. Don't don't self-medicate. Don't. Uh, there's a lot of alcoholism and drug addiction in comedy because of that. That's what we all do to try and get over it. Take it from me. You don't need to do that. It'll just ruin you and slow you down. Try to just get over it on your own. Work on it slowly and make small goals. And if you want that, you'll do it. Oh, I think that's all the questions I have for you. Uh, don't die of alcoholism. Don't die of alcoholism. Unless you're into that sort of thing. I mean, that's how you want to die. I mean, don't. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. <laughs> die in a closet with a belt around your neck and your hand on your genitals. I don't. I mean, that's. If that's what you want, chase that dream. You can do that. Awesome. <laughs> I have the worst advice. Uh, it's some of the best, though. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks for uh, taking the time, Derek. Uh, yeah. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. This is a, I, I, Thanks for the new car, by the way. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. You know, I, I try to give Tesla's to all of my uh, I know. My I, 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 I think that's incredibly generous. And, uh, I mean, it is the car of the future now. Yeah. Tesla, the car of the future today. What if I, what if I was the only one to back out of the scene? Here, hold on, let's do it. Don't, don't stop. Tesla, the car of the future, today. Keep going, keep going. Wait until I'm completely out of frame. <laughs> well, have a good one, everybody.